Alright guys, uh, back with another update here, and uh, I know I keep coming back with these every few hours. It's going to stop, I promise. <laughs> it's uh, just that I wanted to show you another update on um, my progressive uh, overclocking um, of the Nook Color, and it's been really, really good actually, uh, thanks to some great, great developers on xdadevs.com. Uh, They've been doing an absolutely amazing job with these new kernels and stability and whatnot and, and resolving a lot of the issues. So it's been going really well. So I just want to show you now I'm running at uh, 1100 megahertz or 1.1 gigahertz uh, and it just flies. Um, it's it's uh, usually putting out quadrant scores of about 1240, 1260, um, which is, is very, very good as far as uh, speed. Definitely creams, um, you know, the, uh, the Nexus tab or sorry, the uh, Galaxy tab. Um, so it's doing really, really well. The other thing I wanted to show you, though, um, which is some some progress that I've made here, I was able to make a rip of uh, of my Metal Gear Solid. Um, so I wanted to test out and see if I can get the PlayStation to work on there properly, and it works actually pretty well. So I'm just going to show you first um, the overclock here. So we'll go down to set CPU. And you'll see now we're up to a maximum of 1100 megahertz. I'm running the same on-demand uh, scaling system to save on battery life and I haven't actually noticed a huge uh, difference in battery life which is great. The voltage is stock um, so it's not going to up the voltage at all and who knows what we'll be able to do if we do up the voltage. Obviously by doing so we're going to lose battery life though so we don't necessarily want to do that. Uh, so let's go back here and uh, I'll show you the PlayStation I got going on here. Right now using uh, Metal Gear Solid, one of my favorite games uh, in the world probably. I love this game, so, whoops, click the wrong thing here. So I'm just going to hit normal and you'll see it'll go into the regular old intro. So anyway, I'll back out of there and uh, it's pretty cool. Very, very cool. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, so far it's running very smoothly. definitely does uh, HD video much, much better. Um, I just ripped one of my um, other kind of favorite anime movies, Nausicaa, and was able to uh, get that to play quite well, actually. So um, let me just show you a really quick demo of that so you can see that running in HD. Let's see here. Remember what I was using for video. Arc Media uh, is what I'm using for a video player. And uh, it's been working pretty good. I'm just going to pop this up here and put the camera down for a second. And that works pretty good. Um, I got it up on the stand there like I showed you last night, which works really, really well. So very, very cool. Anyway, I uh, just want to show you the overclock and uh, report back later for more updates. Thanks, guys. Cheers.